Good morning, everybody. Lady Charlotte here. Um, no, I didn't get a chance to go dig in the closet upstairs and try to find me some hair to piece together. But, um, so I got to tie it in a little bun in the back. But anyway, I want to have a comment. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my floor mat together. Seems like when I drive, it gets all bunched up. It's got two little little prongs in the floor to keep it from moving, but I have the mat turned over on the rubber side showing, with the rubber side showing, because I um I didn't want to put mud and stuff in that other part, the cloth part, the material part. And that was for Uber, so I got all my mats turned the opposite direction. Anyway, um I wanted to have a conversation with you guys this morning. A real deep conversation about friendship. Now I know y'all are probably thinking, come on, ULC, you want to talk about friendship? I do. I want to say, doing my little trist with this whole thing going on in the apartment complex, you guys were right there with me, 100%, 1,000%. A few people even sent a donation, and I thank you, I thank you. I'm going to use that toward the rent. I don't know what the discount is. I'll find out later on today. But um, I want to thank you for your prayers. Sometimes people can't give financially, which is understandable. Everybody has their own their own thing that they're going through. I'm not the only one, you know, that goes through stuff. And this seatbelt, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, I'm not the only one that goes through stuff. Y'all go through stuff. And still you reach out to help me. And let me tell you something, friends, friends don't always have to give financial support, they can give prayer support. I'm a big believer in that, because prayer changes things. I'm a big believer in that. And if you don't believe in God, and you believe in something else, of a higher power in nature, fine, that's you. But, things will change for you. Now, some people, you know, they get in a situation, and they pray by themselves. That's cool. But the Bible says, where two or more are gathered in my name, there I will be in the midst of them. Can I tell you exactly where that is? Nope, but it's in there. I'm not one of those people that can remember where the scripture is. I know it's in there because I read it several times. And I want to say, because we all pray together, y'all pray for me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all pray for a total stranger. I pray for total strangers all the time. If I see something happen on the side of the road, somebody's car broke down, I pray for them and their situation and, and all that stuff. And um, because you guys prayed with me, the situation worked out. I believe that. It all worked out. Some of you let God use you to help me out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I want to say this about friendship as well. What, what was happening just then was the true basics of friendship. Somebody down, one of your friends down, you do what you can for them. It may not always be what they want you to do for them, but you do what you can for them. And true friends understand that of their other friends, of their friends. I, I may not be able to help you this way, but I can help you this way. I can give you information. I can I can be there to encourage you. I can be there to tell you, don't worry. I got this little thing that um I do with that is at the job when he, when he's all been out of shape, I'll take his hand and say, There, 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 there. I can't do that for you, but I can I can be I can be empathetic towards you. There, 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 there. That's what the older people do to you. Back in the day they used to do that. Just you just be crying. You know, fell down skin your knee. They, they, they clean it up, but they just, they're there, they're there. They can't take the pain away or anything, but they're there. They are there in solidarity with you. Sometimes that's all we need. You just need somebody to be there with you in solidarity. Remember I told you about my sister and my mom in the bathroom? I was there for my sister in solidarity. I can't, I can't, I mean, I can't go back and change that moment, but I can go in the bathroom and take a crap and sit in the dark <laughs> because I understand and I'm there with you in solidarity. Um, but what, what happened just then was a true show of friendship. 
true show of friendship across the United States, over in Australia. I mean, I have people from all over the globe um, send comments and advice. And I'm going to tell you something. That is the, the advice you guys sent me was great. I mean, the ex-leasing consultants, the financial um, people in the financial industry, people in the banking in industry, it was amazing. People that was on standby to go in for you, Big Red, <laughs> that was on standby. Big Red was going to get in there and mix it up. Thank you, Big Red, but we, you know, you can take the boxing gloves off now. Um, it's always great to have a friend like that. You don't really want them to go, you know, beat nobody up or really come down on them. You know, but it's nice to hear that somebody will go to bat for you. It's nice to know that when you don't have that fight in you, that one of your people will, will take up the fight for you until you get your strength back. They will carry the load for you until you can carry your own load. That's true friendship. And that's what you guys did for me. You carried my load when I was so hurt and just wanted to just sit down by the roadside. You guys picked up my load. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yesterday when she told me the wind had whooshed it all around and it sucked it out the mailbox, everybody else's payment got back in that um, drop box, but mine didn't. The wind whooshed it out the mail room and it went out the door and and I was in disbelief when she told me that. She said, this happened one other time before. Really? The wind just taking people's rent checks? I guess the wind needed it more than I did. But I got the eviction letter. Oh, it was, it was, it made me feel bad. I, I just, I just wanted to get in bed and lay down for a moment. Just for a moment. Like I said, I want, I sat by the roadside for just a moment. But you guys... The, the advice and the, the talks and Jay calling me, Jay was like, you know, if you get this, I'm calling. And talking to him and hearing his calm voice tell me everything you guys were telling me, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Um, two people said something. I, I can't tell you right now because I'm, I don't have the camera. I mean, you know, I'm not looking at my comments. But two people said something that started, that put, put the put the joke back in me. Um, one person basically told me, hey, you're the hammer. It's hammer time. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm the hammer. That's right, I'm the hammer. But sometimes, some like that, during this time, I felt like a nail. I was a nail. But I eventually got the hammer back in my hand. Um, and somebody else told me, told me, oh, uh, somebody else told me something that was like, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. I think it was, I think it was about, oh, God is always taking care of me, and he will this time. Somebody told me God is always taking care of you, and he will this time. And I'm like, yeah, that's right, that's right, he always does, he always does. That started, that breathed, those things, and the things that you guys were saying breathed new life into me. Sometimes, sometimes when a person, let's look at it this way. A person has fallen down, they stop breathing. They they have no more breath in them. They have no more life in them. Life is slipping away. And what do we do? You get down and you breathe life back into them. You give them CPR and you put your mouth on their mouth and you breathe life back into them. And that's what you guys did. My mom was texting me, breathing new life back into me because I have fallen down. I'm not perfect. Remember, I tell you all the time, I'm a non-perfect Christian. I'm a non-perfect Christian. And I had fallen down. And you guys breathe new life into me. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. Um, my co-workers, Miss Debbie... <laughs> Miss Debbie, I explained the situation to her and I had to tell her straight out the gate because my some of you had already, you know, had donated. I had told Miss Debbie what was going on because I didn't want her to find out through a video. So I told her what was going on and Miss Debbie takes she's a she's a take action person. I said, Miss Debbie, I don't want you to do anything. I don't want you to do anything. I'm gonna wait it out. God is gonna fix it. 
So I explain the situation to her. And she reaches over for a pen, I mean, um, a sticky notepad, and her pen, how much is it? No, 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 I don't want you to do anything, because she's a fixer. I just want you to hear me out. I just want to vent, that's all. But Miss Debbie was ready. She's like, we have that money. No, I, okay, no, I got it, I got it. But no, I'm good, I'm good. I'm, I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to see what's going to happen. Miss Debbie, thank you. Um, again, I just can't thank you guys enough. I can't. I can't. All right, well, I'm going to go. And I will talk to you guys. Oh, Dan, I can't fix my seatbelt. I mean, as low as it, it's going to go. I can't. There's nothing I can do. I'm just short. Well, okay. Well, it's down to the bottom. And I can't fix it. And then this part looks good. No, let's twist it now. And that's how it goes, right there. But I'm just short. I'm just short. Okay. Um, anybody got any idea on how I can bring my seatbelt lower? Or because it, it, a lot of times it hangs right here. But if anybody got an idea, okay, I'm gonna go and um. I'll talk to you guys later. And let me know. I got a story about my grandmother and the electric blanket. Because I have over 500 videos, I can't remember if I told you guys about the electric blanket. So, somebody let me know if I told that story already. After a while, you start, you know, you start repeating the same stories. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm going to go. I love you all. Bye.